Oh, hey there, guys. Uh, welcome to the Big Hairy Ogre. Um, wanted to share, I got this, um, uh, well, I guess it's a, a nearly complete starter set uh, box um, of On the Edge collectible card game. I uh, got this for, I think it was $10 plus shipping. Um, these cards are apparently, well, I, anyway, the booster boxes are, um, they seem to be pretty inexpensive and um, I didn't have any of the cards um, well I had a handful of cards uh, basically from uh, like a collection I had bought and uh, I were, well really it was just like a big um, I don't know box of random cards and this handful of cards were actually just sitting inside so it kind of intrigued me a little bit and um, yeah basically I thought I'd just get like a well, start off with some starter sets, you know, see if it was interesting, maybe, you know, pick up some boosters um, later on. But i um, kind of curious to see if the uh, starter sets are fixed cards or they're a combination of like, um, you know, kind of like preset cards and then some random cards mixed in like some other card games t tend to do. Um, there's got to be an easier way to get in here. Man, when did this game come out? Published by Trident by special arrangement with Atlas Games. So I think uh, I'm not sure. So okay, here 1994. All right, you know what? Let's just do this. Definitely do not want to um, cut yourself while shooting a video. Uh, that would just mean I'd have to start all over again, or be gross for everybody else watching. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, okay, this is like really bad. I'm supposed to have this like a little string that can just rip right off, but no. I guess because maybe it's because it's a little older. Uh, it makes the plastic tougher. Oh, and look at that. There's more plastic on the inside. That's fine. All right. So it looks like there's a rule book inside. Let's bring the knife back. Jeez, this is really tight. Uh, <clears throat> definitely don't want to do it and damage any of the cards. All right, so, um, well, back when I used to open uh, magic starter, uh, starter boxes, they used to have like the rare cards, I think, by the uh, rule book. But anyways, <clears throat> I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just gonna go through a few of these cards. Stock feels kinda, I don't know, kinda light. Kind of thin <coughs> in comparison to say a vintage um, Middle Earth card. I mean, they appear to be the same, like in terms of cut and almost like the thickness, but I don't know, it could be just my imagination. I want the Middle Earth cards to be better quality. Maybe that's what it is. Anyways, let's go through these. So you got Good Luck, which is some kind of a fortune card. You got Loot, some kind of resource, a 
little whammy. Resource. Anyways, I was just really curious of what the, um, well, what more of the cards look like overall. And uh, I think I have this one in that grouping of cards that I sh just showed you guys. I have no idea what this game is all about. Um, I think On the Edge is a role-playing game. Um, there seems to be some duplicate cards here. I'm wondering, I, I kind of wonder if the, the starter decks are identical. Hopefully not. So here's the rule book. Um, let's, put, let's take a look at it real quick here. Introduction. When she came home from work yesterday, Sally Anduku found a package in her locked apartment. Inside was a device that looked like a cross between a pistol and a handheld vacuum cleaner. Oh, okay, well. Sounds interesting. It's definitely an old uh, 90s game when you've got these, um, you know, these smaller uh, rule books. I'm going to put these guys back in here. Um, so I guess this is like a char some character cards. Ben Feather on Wind. I guess he's kind of like a like an Indian chief, exploitive widower, sweet-tempered caseworker, fierce warrior. Okay, so I guess that is what they did with the splitting, but the characters um, in this part of the uh, this part of the deck. contacts on the edge okay let's uh, starter deck uh, number one I think I'd like to open all these but not I'm not gonna do that right now I'm gonna do um, let's open up one more ah. Classic is a little tough. Um, I don't know if it's because of the age. Ah. Oh man. All right. Well. Right off the bat, um, this is going to be different. This is a good sign. Yeah, I mean, I guess if it was the decks were all the same, it'd be kind of awful. They, nobody would want to buy these cards at all. Oh, this is a lot better. See, with practice, you start. Um, getting better at opening these boxes. Okay, so you got a human Gladstone Summer Summerite. I guess this is a, a character card. Another one. It's weird how they've got. Okay, so some of these like uh, there's a couple of similar cards from the last deck. Uh, 
uh, I guess I guess some of the in the other deck like there were character cards I just didn't really realize what they were for and I got resources <clears throat> oh, here here you go here's my guy the bar owner Frank Germain he's a human entrepreneur plus one pull to call Aries cards he runs sad Mary's bar and girl the hottest night spot on the plaza of flowers okay <clears throat> all right um, now why does he look like someone that we know <laughs> and there he is again and even has the word president right right there anyways um Wheel of Fortune. Well, she does not look like um, Vanna White, but very interesting outfit. Huh, interesting. Well, I want to explore this game. I'm going to read some, uh, some of the rule book. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more of these uh, on the edge starters uh, unboxed. Um, I mean, overall, actually, I mean, the cards look pretty good. They're not really my um, preferred kind of design. I actually uh, like certain card games with the sort of the, the main, um, I mean, they're similar, but uh, certain games I, I kind of, I mean, I like the artwork. I really love the uh, Middle Earth uh, artwork, and of course, you know, I do like Magic and a few others. Um, this artwork seems to be, I mean, some of them are pretty good, like this one, Street, uh, street Scum, but um, some of them could be a little better. Anyways, uh, thank you for uh, stopping by the channel, taking a look at On the Edge, and um, I'll try to do a few more videos of these, sorry, of this series in the future, and um, thanks for uh, stopping by.